Adam Lerner, BrooklynPhotoWorks.com. Today, I want to share with you guys a special tip that you can use with your Squarespace website. Now, you guys know how much I love Squarespace. You know that I use Squarespace personally for my website portfolio. And if you guys are looking to save money on a Squarespace website after that free 14-day trial that has no obligation, you can use the code ADAM, A-D-A-M, or just go to squarespace.com slash ADAM and you will be able to enter your, your, your discount code for 10% off and that applies to any type of website, whether it be a cover page, a full-blown website, or a commerce site. Okay, so sometimes when you're building a website and you're putting your galleries together, maybe you don't want that gallery to be so readily available to the public or maybe you wanted to keep it locked down so that only people that have that link or that are sent that link are going to be able to see it. Or maybe you're just kind of trying to test the water and you just don't want to quite, you want to get people's feedback, let's say, before you actually make that, that gallery live. Regardless, I want to show you guys how you can create a gallery and keep it tucked away, yet you still have that link available if you want to share it out with the world. All right, so here's what we do. We're going to go to our website and we're going to, we're going to select pages. Once we select pages, we're going to select right down here where it says, you see how we've got main navigation? These are all the live pages on my site. Then we've got not linked. These are web pages that are not linked on my site. Okay, so we're going to hit plus and we're going to create a gallery page over here. And we'll just call this um, Nick Giorgio, or actually GB, Giorgio Brutini. That was, the, um, that was the client that we shot for. Okay, so right now it says this collection's empty. So I've already selected the images over here and I'm just going to drag and drop them right into there. And as you guys can see, the images are very, very quickly uploading because I've already optimized them for the web. And uh, this was a collection of images I shot um, for a uh, men's fashion brand, um, Giorgio Brutini, which uh, they do shoes. And my friend Nick was the uh, model for these, these shots, which is very, very cool. All right, so boom, there we go. Um, we've got all the images up there and we go back to pages. And we're just going to remember, let's just see what we have here. Nick GB, that's going to be it. And the URL is going to be Nick-GB. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. Okay. So now we're going to go to my website. Boom. And we're going to, let's go. We're going to get in there. And you can see there is no Nick GB website. I mean, no Nick GB gallery over here. It doesn't exist. However, it does exist. So if we go back up here and we type in nick-gb, boom, here we go. We have the shots, and there they are. How cool is that? And I'll just show you guys the thumbnails, and there it is, all right? So there you go, guys. If you guys are looking to create a gallery that you wanna hide from the main navigation of your website, or maybe you're creating client galleries that you want to hide, but you only want your clients to be able to see. This is a very, very slick way to be able to do it. And all you've got to do is just copy and paste the, the gallery link and send that to your clients. So that's it. A nice quick tip from Squarespace about creating a hidden gallery or a not linked gallery. I mean, it's not linked to the main navigation. It's hidden in the, uh, in, it's hidden in the navigation and it's only accessible by link. That's it for now. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Don't forget, if you want to save 10% on your Squarespace website, use the code ADAM or go to squarespace.com slash ADAM. Well, that's it for now, and we'll see you soon.